Hello, my name is Andy Traub. I'm a member of the tech advisory team here at 48days.net. On behalf of Dan Miller and the team, welcome. And I want to show you how you can create groups within our site. Groups are very important. It's where most of the communication happens at 48days.net. And we have a few tips on how to create it on a technical standpoint, but also you know, how to create a successful group that gets uh, more members and provides the most value. So the first step to creating a group has nothing to do with the technology behind it, the how-to. The first step truly is to have friends first. So that means that once you engage with 48days.net and you, you sign up and we've approved your profile, you go in and find like-minded people. So for instance, you would just go to uh, your page and then you want to you know, maybe look for people. So you've got uh, your profile, it's all set up but you need some friends. So on the left side, you can see your friends. But if you want to invite more friends, you can click Invite More. And then you can either find people from your address book, or you can go within the site and uh, find people uh, individually that are already members of the community. So let's go ahead and go to the Members tab. And you can scroll through and find all kinds of other members there. And you can search by different parameters right here. But what we're going to encourage you to do is go ahead and find groups that you know that you like. Search for keywords throughout the site, and once you are able to find people that have like interests, that you would friend them, invite them to be a friend. And once you've done that, then you can use those people to invite to your specific group. So the key to having a, a large group is to already have friends and invite them personally. It's a great way to attract people, uh, and you'll usually share a common interest. So uh, let's say, for instance, we're going to take Rodney real quick. And we're going to take Rodney. And if I want to add Rodney as a friend, I just click on Add, a, add as Friend right here. And then I'd be able to add uh, Rodney as a friend. And I do encourage you to go ahead and uh, when, it clicks, when you click on Add a Friend, go ahead and add a personal message. It helps um, you know, make the site more personal. So you've added friends. That part's done. Well, what do you do now? Well, you go to the Community and then Groups page. And then you're going to go to add a group right here. So community, then groups, and then add a group. And this is what you're going to see. You're going to see a uh, dialog looks like add a group. And so this is how you set up your information. I've pre-filled a lot of this information already, so I'll go through it quickly. The first and last name is not your first and last name. It's the name of the group. So the name of this group is called Tech Tips. And then you click on this picture of a computer, of a, excuse me, of a camera, and that's where you're going to upload an image. You're going to click on that dialog. It's going to pull up your computer. You have to find an image on your computer that you want to upload. I've already done that. The next part is to give a description of your group. So go ahead and place it there. This is a group for finding technology tips that help you become more professional, productive, and profitable in your business. The group address will be 48days.net slash group slash, and then you know whatever you want um, your name to be. And... We will have it there. Let's see, then website for the group is going to be a, a website that supports your group information. Uh, so if it was Dave Ramsey Financial Coaches, that site might be DaveRamsey.com. And then location, if it's uh, you know based geographically, but ours is in cyberspace, so I just put cyberspace. The next part, don't skip over this, is the features section on the right side. Choose what features you want on your group page. You can have comments enabled. We definitely encourage that. A discussion forum, which is good a text box so you can add specific things in RSS reader. Uh, a text box, let me go back to that. A text box is a place where you can type in just your own general text. Um, you know, if you want to describe the group or, or just add different elements, different uh, HTML elements, a video, maybe things like that. An RSS reader will allow you, if you have a blog like I do, to put in your blog and then as you update your blog, it'll update the RSS reader. I'll show you what that looks like in a minute. And then you can choose um, to let anyone who wants to join the group would have a moderated membership where you have to approve them individually. And then I encourage you to actually uncheck this. Uh, allow members to send messages to the entire group. I would uncheck this. Um, if people want to send messages to the whole group, they should be starting a discussion, which they should be able to do. But there's no reason to really send messages to the whole group unless you're the group moderator. So we're going to go ahead and, and add this group by clicking Add Group. Oh, sorry, I made a boo-boo. You can't add letters or numbers into the group address. So we'll add the group there. And it's going to ask you if you'd like to add people from your address book. Go down here to Invite Friends. 
So this is uh, invite friends that are part of the 48days.net community already. So you're going to click down this dialog, and this is all my friends that I have within 48days.net that I could uh, invite them individually if I wanted to. Uh, I'm not going to do that. Uh, I'm not going to create a group invite right now. I'll do that another time. Um, and so we're going to go and just skip that step. And you can see here, this is the group. You can see who created it. You can see the information about the group, the website, the location, members, when it was created. Now under the text box, I can put HTML, things like that. Discussion forum, I can start a discussion. RSS, let me show you how to do an RSS. So we'll call it Andy Traub's blog. And the URL is HTTP. And let's see if that works. There you are. So you can edit that. You just put in your blog address, uh, whatever it is, .com slash feed. And you can choose to have the titles only or a detailed view. So if you do a detailed view, click with the difference between those two, you'll see you'll have a lot more uh, you know, text information. And you can choose how many posts you'd like to show. And then there's a comment wall. So people can either comment on the group as a whole or they can start individual discussions. So we want to start a discussion in this group. That's the next tip is once you set up everything that you would start a discussion. Go ahead and start your first discussion. And so we've gone to our discussion here and we're going to give it a title. Pull up my information here. And this one is going to be tips on um, internet browser plugins all right and then you have some text space here and I'm just going to cut and paste this description there we go and one thing I do at the end of my discussions is I ask a question um, or I suggest people make comments that's another good thing to do with discussions encourage people to make comments. And then uh, this makes reference to a couple uh, internet links. So I'm going to add those links in here. And you can see this is a link right here. So I have to highlight it. And you go up here to link right here, create link, click on that. And then you put in the link. And that makes that a live. Um, that makes that a live link right there. So we've got that one. And you know what, let's go ahead and add an image to this as well. We're going to click right in the top left hand corner and click this picture, insert image. And we're going to upload an image from our computer here. And let's go ahead and resize it to 300, align it to the left, and then click add. And that's going to add an image. Again, this makes your discussions a little bit more uh, personal. I'm going to resize it and make it even smaller there. And there you go. There is your picture, your conversation, if you will, as well as a link. And then you can give it some tags. And the reason you want to put tags in there is because it'll help when people are searching the site for information. They'll help, they'll, it'll help them find uh, you and information that, that they're looking for. So if someone typed in Firefox, they would find this discussion. So then we're going to click Add Discussion right there. And you can see the image. You can see the discussion. You can see the link. And then below that is where people can reply. So that is how to start a group. And then our encouragement is to keep it active. And we do deactivate inactive groups. So please make an effort to keep those as active as possible. And you can always manage your group members by clicking right here. You can edit features of the group. Um, you can do a lot of different things. Um, send a message to the entire group if you have other members. And you can always go down here to invite more people to the group uh, if you have more people to invite. And that is how to invite people to a group and to create a group more specifically uh, within 48days.net. If you have other questions, you can always reach out to us uh, through the website. And we appreciate you being a member of the community. God bless.